Hello everyone. So I am going to try to do a quick um, demonstration of how you would use uh, Google Slides in the classroom. Now I do not have a class that is coming up or I haven't been notified thus far that I have a class tomorrow. So I can't get in um, to the course where to actually show you how it will come up, but I can show you at least how to um, pull it up in Manicam. Um, so if you notice, I have a little assistant with me today. So bear with me and I hope this video helps. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is to uh, download Manicam. You can go to their website um, and download. There's a free version, and then you have uh, the paid versions. I believe this is the version that I have right here. Um, well worth it to me because I use it for um, multiple companies. <laughs> okay, so anyway... Um, so the first thing that you want to do is to actually create your Google slide, which would be in apps. So if you click on slides, um, you will see that my incorrect email comes up. Okay, here we go. So here is a blank presentation. Now, let's just say that my, and I'm just going to try to click on here and just, um, it's just like PowerPoint. If you're familiar at all with PowerPoint, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I like G Google Slides, so you don't have to worry about you saving stuff. You know, like most Google apps, it just kind of saves on its, on its own. Um, so let's say, um, I, th I think one of the, uh, things that I used yesterday was a kimchi gift. We talked about um, eating kimchi in Japan. And so I found um, this little guy and thought that he was super cute. So I would right click, save image as kimchi. And I already have it there. So it's asking, do I want to replace it? Yes, we'll replace it. So there we go. Now I go back to my Google Slides, insert image, upload from computer. And because I have so much junk on this bad boy, I have to actually do a search for kimchi. If anybody knows of an easier way to do this, you can let me know. And then I double click and there's my dancing kimchi. Look at him, isn't he cute? Go kimchi, go kimchi. So anywho, now that I have him saved, and I'm just gonna title this Kimchi Demo, okay? Enter, and there you go. It's, it's in my Google Drive, okay? So I'm gonna close this out. Then I'm going to go back to, well, I'm going to open up my Manicam down here. All right. So if you notice, my child has got like all my banking information. Oh, there's that little cutie again. So anyhow, um, for those of you who are wondering how I did the picture in picture, if you have Manicam, you can go click on the little camera icon. And here are your options here for your picture. And I have picture in picture so that when I do use the Google Slides, um, you can see uh, um, my face as well as the slides. And if you look here, oh, my child just changed it, I'm sorry. So anyhow, and you can resize this too to make it as big or as small as you want. You can kind of move it around your screen. And if you notice, I have my phone attached to my computer. So what I'm going to do on my phone is go to my Google Drive and I am going to pull up right here where it says kimchi demo. And it should pop up soon. And of course you wanna already have this 
loaded um, before you start class, of course, so that you're not doing this, you know, right before you show it. And if you click the little arrow, I don't know if I can show you the little arrow right here. Um, play and then it'll give you options present on this device I always do it in present mode so that you don't see the little smaller icon there at the bottom um, I turn my phone horizontal so that the picture is bigger and then I kind of toggle in between the screen like ah, where do they like kimchi Korea I said Japan earlier Yes, Korea. Very good. Have you ever had kimchi before? Let's take a look. <gasps> kimchi. Yes, very good. <laughs> so that's pretty much um, how I do that. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Um, when you get to this feed, it's usually blank like this. So if you right click, you can see right here, it says Miss Russell's iPhone. If I click that, then that shows my phone feed. Okay, so I hope that I have covered everything. And in case I have not, feel free to uh, PM me or comment below the video and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, love you, magic ears family. See you soon. Bye-bye.